What's up? This is Hans from Woe Is Me, and you are watching Punk Videos Rock. Hey guys, Rob here, Punk Videos Rock. We're hanging out behind the Roxy in Hollywood, and I'm hanging out with uh, Hans. How you doing, man? Good, man. Good. How are you? Doing good. I have a question. All right. When did Mike Posner join What Was Me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> too soon, too soon. No, I get that a lot. Uh, Do you? Mike Posner, Justin Timberlake, and Vinny from Jersey. Justin Shore. Timberlake? That's. Yeah. I didn't think of that. So, but yeah, um, that's crazy. We're here at the Roxy hanging out on the Talk Your Shit tour. With, it's, uh, it's actually your birthday today, right? It is. I'm 21 today. Happy so birthday, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> 21, and it's an early show. Where are you going to drink? Know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You know, we'll be in LA all day, so, you know. Who knows what we'll get into, really? Yeah, yeah most definitely. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about the new album. It's about to drop in a couple days. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, Genesis comes out November the 20th, uh, Tuesday. Um, you know, we put a lot of hard work into it. Um, lots of people been asking about the name, the name behind Genesis and the meaning behind that. Basically, uh, Genesis literally means like the beginning or like the origin of something. And, um, you know, with everything that's happened with our band in the past, and now we finally have like a solid family, a good lineup, and a new sound, you know what I mean? It's just like kind of starting fresh, you know, yeah. starting from the beginning. So that's what we built the foundation for Genesis. Um, you know, if you haven't heard any of the new songs, it's uh, definitely super heavy. Uh, while the singing parts and choruses are like super, like uh, poppy sing along type stuff. So, mm -hmm. real feel good type stuff, along with super angry, pissed off, in your face heaviness definitely so. and, I, and I, I mean like coming into the band you know austin he knows what he wants for the band he knows the music he wants the lyrics everything yeah. so did that like intimidate you coming in because you were like when you came in they had just like gone into the studio right 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 uh when i first came into the band dude it was really just like tr you know trying to bridge the gap um you know like here's this new guy you know we're gonna kind of keep the same same sound a little bit but um no it wasn't it wasn't like an intimidation factor at all with this new record it, honestly i think it made everyone work harder and uh you know everyone felt super passionate about the way we were writing and the new music and stuff so um yeah you know it wasn't you know not intimidating at all you know me and austin uh especially work really well together um we would sit night after night after night and uh you know he you know, wrote most of the like the screaming stuff and then, you know, it was me on the singing. So we would sit there, you know, just back and forth about everything until we finally got like exactly what we wanted. So um yeah, I had lots of, you know, creative input with the the, the especially the singing vocals. So yeah. I wrote most like pretty much all the singing lyrics and melodies. So but yeah, Austin and I work really well together and I think that all of us, you know, as a group work really well together now too. So does it feel like you've been with them for a while already, or are you still yeah, there's yeah. still there's no. still things that you're like trying to get used um, to? Um, no, dude, everything just kind of flows now. You know, it's been over a year since I've been in the band. Everything is finally like clicks. You know what I mean? It's it, it's good, good vibes uh, from everybody. Yeah. I think even our two newest guys, Brian and Doriano, have you know finally like settled everything. You know, like I said, just kind of fell into place. You know what I mean? Now, what so. was it? What was it like uh, performing for the first time with What Was Me? It was nerve-wracking, dude. We literally, we hit the studio, like I said, like a year ago. We recorded Vengeance and a couple other things. Uh, and two weeks, three weeks later, we were on a flight to the UK to do uh, a European tour with the Skylet Drive. So, yeah, that was my first show was in uh, Glasgow, Scotland. Shit. So that's, um, a, that's a shitload of people. No pressure, whatever. <laughs> um, no, it was nerve-wracking. I did terrible. And I threw up after we played. Oh, shit. So from the nerves or just yeah, 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 just from being nervous, you know what I mean. So, but no, dude, that was yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. That's so nice. That's nice. <laughs> come a long way since then for, yeah, sure. for sure. You know what I mean. You sure have. Now you guys have released a couple video or you guys have released a couple songs, but I haven't seen any music videos for it. Right. Um, any plans on music videos? Are you guys pushing that aside for now? Like, what's going on? Um. Actually, as soon as we finish up with this tour, I know we have plans for a music video. Can't say for what song yet, and uh, obviously no release date yet. Yeah. But yeah, we actually have uh, ideas for a music video in the works right now. So was, I'm pretty excited. What was the reason for like waiting a little longer for a music video? Just because we were so busy getting ready for this tour and um, you know making sure everything was good for the, the album release and the release of the singles and stuff. You know, we just been super busy. You know, getting everything ready for this, uh, working hard always. Yeah. No time. It's gonna slime. get any busier in the next couple days. So. Oh, super busy, super busy. Um, we also have a busy schedule lined up for 2013. Okay. Uh, nothing's been announced yet, except Soundwave. It will be in Australia in February for Soundwave, and uh, Tokyo with the Mice and Men right before that. Nice. But um, everything else, kind of under wraps right now. But yeah, just yeah. know we have a big, 
big touring schedule for 2013 to support this record. What's the plan for the end of this year? Like, are you guys done touring for this year? Yeah. Um, when this tour is over, we have, you know, time off for the holidays and stuff. And then uh, January, we're back out on the road. So okay. um, just a little bit of time off and then um, back to it. Okay. Well, now since the record comes out in a couple days, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and sell your, your record to the fans, why they should go ahead and pick up the new record. You need to pick up the new record because it'll change your life. <laughs> um, no, uh, I think that, um, you know, as far as things that have happened in the past with our band and, you know, the Rocky lineup and stuff like that, um, I think what we wanted to do with this record is just, like, prove to everyone that, you know, we're still here, we never left, like, we never gave up on any of you guys. Um, you know, all the fans, that's, like, the, that's the reason we do this anyway. You know, we want to write music that, that, you know, people can be passionate about. And um, so, yeah, we put a lot of heart and soul and emotion into this record. Um, you know, any, any, any emotion as far as like anger, happiness, you know, joyful, it's all there, everything. Um, and I think that people will definitely be able to relate to the album in a lot of different ways. Um, there's a lot of different, different styles of songs on there. You know, we got one song that's completely screaming, at, you know, that's our intro and everything. And then, you know, a couple songs at the end that are just like nothing but singing. So I think there's definitely like a wide variety of, of things that people can can get down with and relate to. Um, so yeah, this is it's like a clean slate starting fresh, and I think that a lot of people will be pleasantly surprised by what we did with this record.